how to paint your rifle and other gear. Stick around. Hey, what's up? And welcome back to the HK Rifle Works YouTube channel. This afternoon or evening, we are going to work on painting an upper. So what we have here is the Mark 12 Mod O uh, from PRI. They're upper, it's their Gen 2. Um, and essentially we're just going to be going over how I paint my stuff. We're going to be using Krylon, their Flat Dark Earth uh, camouflage paint, as well as Rust-Oleum's, um, what is this, their Deep Forest Green paint. So we're going to do the base on FEE and the OD Green over the top. And I'm just kind of going to go over how I do it. Um, there's so many different ways to paint stuff whether you're using natural sponges, maybe like a gym bag. Um, I'm gonna be tearing up paper. Um, I've actually cut my own stencils out as well, so maybe we'll do a video or something like that. Um, I did it on an AK a while ago, and I still have it, and it still looks pretty cool. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> anyways, so we're just gonna do a quick review on, or overview, maybe general discussion as we're going through this. First things first, I'm gonna do a full degrease um, again, there's tons of ways people like to do that. Some people don't de degrease, um, they just paint over it. I prefer if I'm gonna take the time to paint and everything, I want it to adhere, and I wanna get any oils and everything off the metal so the paint will adhere to it. Um, it will wear while I'm using it, because <clears throat> I definitely do kinda like that battle-worn, quote-unquote, finish, if you will. So, but I'm gonna do a quick degrease. We're not gonna do any sanding, anything like that, but we're gonna do a quick degrease. We're gonna tape off critical components, critical components that we need to tape off, um, mostly like op knobs on the optic, um, obviously our muzzle brake. Uh, we may tape off some other stuff here and there too. But um, we're gonna tape off, we're gonna degrease, and then, or in the reverse order, degrease, tape off, and then we will start our first coat of paint. All right, so we're kind of going to do this vlog style. We've taped up our optic, we've got our stock, our turrets. We may or may not paint these. These are rubber, so we may paint the plastic. Um, we're, we're going to paint the rubber on the buttstock. I know paint doesn't adhere very well with rubber, but we're going to give it a shot. And over here we have the upper receiver. We're going to cover up that muzzle brake, but we got it situated. Some paper towels stuck in there and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so we gave all the parts the night to dry. Uh, it's the next afternoon. Um, actually, I guess almost the day to dry, about 20 hours. Um, the biggest thing for me is I want instant gratification so much. I get so excited and try to mess with things that I've painted and I end up, the paint's not fully cured and I end up getting fingerprint marks or smudges and stuff like that. So the biggest thing that you wanna look for when you're painting is just be patient, let it dry, at least enough to handle. Um, we gave this 24 hours, actually on the can of this paint, it says that it's a full seven day cure time to harden um, to its like maximum hardness. But we are going to get out and we're going to try and shoot this tomorrow, which would be Friday afternoon. And I really want to get the green on it prior to and give it another 24 hours. So anyways, I've got everything. It's really windy outside. I, I usually paint outside. It's really windy out. So we're in the garage and what we're going to do is open up the garage door, uh, get some good ventilation and then turn on a big fan in here. Um, and this should just take a second. So the, what we're gonna do with the green overlay is, I've ripped up a couple pieces of paper, like packing paper, let's see, just like this and like this. And essentially what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna move everything off that I don't wanna paint so far. So I'll just probably start with the upper itself and I will lay down maybe a piece of paper like this and like that. And what I'll do is I'll just spray that section, right? Uh, and I'll get it all the way around everything, what I need to do with the green. And to kind of soften the lines, after I do my main coat, I'll back off the paper 
just ever so slightly, back this paper off too. And then I'll do a really, really light dusting over that. And that kind of softens the lines, uh, transitioning from green to that flat, dark earth color. And essentially what we're gonna do is we are going to do the upper real quick. Then we'll probably move to the stock, everything like that, and let it dry, maybe give it like 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. And then we'll flip everything over and then we'll paint on that uh, or paint the other side. So for the sake of time and y'all not having to sit around and watch me paint all evening, uh, I'm gonna knock this out and then we will see you right when we get this done. All right, so we just wrapped up paint and let it dry enough to where it is safe to handle. I really like the way that it turned out. It's gonna look great on our Gordon Carbine lower that we have, uh, that Colt lower. So let's get some of this tape off, reassemble everything, and we will meet y'all at, uh, at the desk with the finished product. We got the rifle back together, and I tell you what, I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Painting your gear, whether it's an expensive rifle, expensive piece of glass, uh, night vision, anything like that, can be a pretty intimidating task, right? Um, you know, you think about it, I've got all this invested into this and I'm about to put cheap rattle can spray paint on it. But in my personal opinion, if you have a vision for your rifle and it turns out just how you like it, the reward is so much greater than the risk in this case. If you think about it, there's so many black rifles out there. Um, there's so many FDE rifles. That seems to be a real popular color right now. Um, if you paint your gear, no one in the world has the exact same paint job as you. The nice thing is, is if you make a mistake, strip it off, start over. Um, you can paint over a mistake. Uh, you can even touch up these rattle can paint jobs. So they're really, really nice. I kind of see it as an ever-changing project. Um, just some last tips that I'll leave with is, again, make sure you tape off your critical components here, like our turrets. Uh, make sure you don't get any paint on your glass, your lenses themselves uh, when you're painting. One thing that I see a lot is people actually hold the spray can a little bit too far away from whatever they're painting. And what happens is, is the paint particles will actually dry in the air before they lay on your firearm or again, whatever you're painting. And it creates this really rough, uneven texture. So make sure when you're doing it, you're holding maybe whatever the spray can recommends, 10 inches, 12 inches away, however much it, it calls for. But, um, yeah, make sure you do that correct. Make sure that the conditions are right. Again, paint in a warm environment, not too windy, etc. stuff like that. And the last thing that I'd recommend is before you paint and before you get your idea together, look around you, see where you live. We live in the Southeast right here. And as much as I would love to do like a straight up desert theme, uh, cause a lot of the Mark 12s were used overseas. We live in the Southeast here and we have a lot of greens, etc. stuff like that. So, I think the OD green and the tan scheme are gonna look really good and blend in well. And especially when once the paint starts to wear a little bit, that OD green FDE black uh, will fit in great with, uh, with our environment around us. So anyways, again, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Sorry this video was kind of quick, but um, again, we will get some good content out to you. We've got some really good shooting content. We're actually about to do some reloading for this. We're gonna do an optimal charge weight test. We may do some seating depth testing. And then we are going to take this exact rifle out to, or up to, and see if we can't break a thousand yards with it. So um, you all know the drill. Subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. Tell your dog I said hi. We'll see you in the next one.